shot in the first inning trying to salvage one of four against the Houston Astros beautiful Thursday afternoon. The gentleman in the middle Billy Schmidt of course on the left Mark Gustafson on the right the gentleman in the middle is uh, Mike Nickerak who is one of the Rockies high picks this year in the draft the uh, compensation pick for losing Michael Kadire to the New York Mets Mike a right handed pitcher from Strasburg Pennsylvania and uh, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Was your hand shaking when you signed that contract today. Uh, it wasn't but uh, I was super excited about it. Good you ought to be. That, that is awesome. And uh, did you have an idea. You, you knew you were going to go pretty high. Uh, did you have an idea that the Rockies were heavily interested. Uh, early in the season the GM he was the first GM that came out to one of my games so I knew that they were interested but it was it was pretty foggy as far as where I was going to go I mean I knew I could go high but I mean anything can happen in the draft you guys know that better than anybody. This ball shot down the right field line cargo sliding stop and he's going to hold Colin McHugh to a single that's the first hit of the year for McHugh albeit he doesn't get many opportunities being in the American League now. Got to take one more look at the pitch out of the hand of uh, David Hale. A bail and whale swing by a pitcher. It happens to flare down the right field side. But look at the hustle of Cargo to get to the baseball and get it back in again. That's a very nice play by Carlos. You got a better hack than that? Better huh? hack? You have a better hack than the Q. Oh, better hack. Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I've been <laughs> Don't start it. bragging early. Trust yeah, me. I, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm excited, though, once I get to double A to start swinging it. Um, but as of now I'm looking forward to just focusing on being on the bump. Did you do a lot of the perfect game travels and showcases and uh, different things. I did um, last year or, or middle of the year before was the first time that I actually uh, competed in, in travel ball or showcases I was never I was never big on the showcases but last year I was I was pretty much gone from the, the day we let out of school to the day we came back to school so he was the first team perfect game all American like Brendan Rogers have you gotten a chance to meet Brendan yet. Yeah me and Brendan played together uh, so we met each other along the road and 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 become pretty good friends. That's kind of neat and uh, Tyler Nevin who's going to join us in a little bit Phil Nevin's uh, son was this uh, first time you met Tyler or did you met him along the circuit as well. It was the first time that I met him. Um, a lot of faces, a lot of names, so it's tough to keep up with, with who you meet along the way, but I believe it was the first time we met. Well, the nice part about it, a lot of the guys you compete against, you're competing at that highest level, so you'll see them again in rookie ball and double A, and hopefully you travel yourself through the to get to the big leagues. And the body changes, the mind gets a, a little better. A base hit for Springer. He's now two for two. What a series he's had. He's nine. For six, is it nine for seventeen now? Nine for sixteen. Nine for sixteen. So are you headed to Idaho Falls in the morning? I am. I'm heading tomorrow morning with a couple of the guys at the hotel. So uh, we were talking about maybe going to grab a bite to eat tonight. A little celebration. Everybody just signed a contract. Um, well, I got a great place if you like a diner, but I'm a diner guy. You pro right. They'll probably maybe do a little better than that tonight. I don't think so. I mean, come on now. It's a pretty good spot Pennsylvania guy. I know he likes diners. You're right. You're, you're right. Mike let me <laughs> ask you something because you're a northeastern kid Strasburg Pennsylvania a northern kid where you're, where you're throwing in the gym in the winter and that sort of thing. Uh, did it take a while for, for people to find you said you weren't on the travel circuit till about a year ago. Yeah actually um, one of our close friends we had this this tournament back home is called Carpenter's Cup and and that was the first one that I was really a part of and that's where my advisor actually ended up finding me and. And we ended up getting together, Jeff Randazzo, and and he wrote up the whole plan for my entire summer, and I just stuck to his plan. They wrote for me, and and it, it was definitely tough, you know, coming from the Northeast. We we got on the field a month and a half after our first game was scheduled. We started, we played our first game before we even got to practice outside, so it was a lot. But uh, it's the price you pay when you live up there. So, how much velocity did you pick up, say, between sophomore year and senior year? Uh, freshman year I was about 83 until senior year I topped the 99. Phrase you ever touch 99 in a cab. <laughs> 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 no. What did you what did you work at senior year velocity wise. Uh, well we met with Eric Cressy um, over there in Boston Massachusetts and got together with him and he wrote up a plan for me it was a lot of a lot of core and a lot of legs. Um, so we really knocked that out over the winter as well as conditioning and speed and agility. But um, we got with the right guys at the right time and everything clicked together. The Rockies can turn a pair here. Tulowitzki will get one. And 
Mayhew will try to backdoor Colin McHugh. So it's first and third. Correa takes the place of Springer, and that'll bring up Preston Tucker with a home run back in the first. One out. Well, I think the best advice I could give you, I went through it as a player. My son's gone through it as a player. It's just enjoy the game. Have fun playing the game. Have fun what you're doing and realize that it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Uh, you're going to have bumps in the road. And you're going to go, man, am I this bad? You know, <laughs> and you're going to have times where, wait, I just threw a ball 96 miles an hour. That guy just hit it in the woods. What are you kidding me? That you got to remember, I always say the saying, and I told my son, I tell all players this, they practice too. Absolutely. You know, so that's just where, just go enjoy the time and have fun and enjoy this first summer of baseball. And, Realize that you're going to train at probably the best, if not the best, of facilities in America when it comes to Major League Baseball, Salt River Field, Scottsdale. I think you've probably been there. Well, it is beautiful. Yeah, I'd say I'm most excited about not only you know, getting together with the the great uh, the great facilities or the great coaches or anything, but it's just playing with guys who um, you know have the same mindset as myself and and are out there and know what needs to get done. So I'm really excited about having the guys behind my back and. And knowing that wherever the ball gets hit, there's probably a good chance that's going to get caught or the play's going to be made. How, about, how tall are you right now, Mike? Six five. Are you still growing? I'm still growing. Every, Hopefully, growing this way a little more than this way now. Because <laughs> you know what, I'm, I'm looking at you, and you shave like once a month right now, right? About once a month. Yeah, you're right. So right on there. You may have another inch or so in you. Huh? <laughs> That'd be nice. I'll take another inch. Absolutely. Ninety nine. It's a good arm. Tucker last time up got a fastball in when he was behind in the count took it to the seats in right field. Correa takes off and this is pulled and so DJ needs help at first he'll get the out there as the run scores. Good recovery by Ben Paulson. DJ LeMay who flashing that gold glove once again. It will be an RBI ground out for Tucker Correa to second and it's a three to two ball game. Did you have a second baseman like that in high school. Our second baseman moved to shortstop my senior year just because we lost a lot of players. But th those plays right there, what I'm talking about, it's got to be nice being on the mound, having plays like that being made behind you. Well, it's a lot of fun to play with the best in the business. And DJ, a gold glove winner just a year ago, the mindset not to go to second, go to first. Paulson able to get back up and get back. Were you a Phillies fan? I was a Yankee fan. Yankee fan. I played for the Yankees before you were born. All right. There you go. <laughs> Those two guys were Met fans growing up. They were Westchester guys. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> we've had. No, we've I like had, you even we, more now. We, we've had. Our, we've had our moments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my family grew up being Yankee fans, but as of ten minutes ago, everybody's a Rocky fan. A Rocky I, I was yeah. impressed because you came up with a nice purple tie. This is fouled off by Chris that is Carter. Nice. You know, was you this, was this at that. home or did you have to go purchase it? Uh, I got this at home. Nice. I, I planned before I came here. Yeah. There you go. It's pretty excited. You got a little purple tint in the shirt. You're ready to go. I know. Thanks. Thanks for noticing. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. What's your best secondary pitch right now? My best secondary pitch is most likely my knuckle curveball. Um, I consider my, my two seam and my four seam pretty much the same, but my two seam acts more as a sinker than uh, than running. But I really worked on my my knuckle curveball this past winter and didn't really flash it too much during the, the whole circuit last year. So I really got a chance to get in the gym and really work at it. And it's come together really nicely so far. But like I said before, I'm excited to get together with the right group of coaches and, and teammates to really maximize my effort on the mound. Correa swipes third. Well one of the guys you'll have to work with Bob Apodaca who's the lower level pitching coordinator that hurt. Oh, kidding me. That found a hole in the shift and Carter has tied it up with a single to left his 34th RBI and it's now a 3 3 ball game in the third. Hey, right, try to play the shift to play in the position where you think you're going to have a shot at it to, to make the play on it. He just split the wicket up the middle too low over in the corner DJ playing up the middle not much you can do about it when the ball has eyes and gets through the infield. Luis Valbuena at the plate. This has turned into a more lengthy inning than David Hale had bargained on. 50 pitches in for Hale struck out Valbuena. 
I mentioned to you a minute ago, uh, Bob Apodak, a low level pitching coordinator, longtime major league pitching coach, uh, thoroughly enjoys what he's doing now. So pay heed. He's very good at what he does. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Down there, and he understands the, the grandfather approach. You have to take some nights with kids, put your arm around them, say it's going to be all right. You know, I got a great, uh, a great advice from uh, Lou Brock, who was a Hall of Fame outfielder. But he said, you know what? Try to just stay like this all the time. Drew uses this analogy at times. Because when you get way up here, boy, it hurts when you hit the same man. Oh, Absolutely, man, it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, but if you can stay in that middle and stay in that even keel, you'll have a great career and have a lot of fun. And you probably know this already that the biggest key, one of the biggest keys to success in this game is mental toughness. Lou Brock's birthday today, George. You know that? What is he, 84 today, 85? Dougie will let us know momentarily. Two balls and a strike on Luis Valbuena. Yeah, exactly what you said, mental toughness. Um, during the winter, actually, I changed pitching coaches. Well, not changed, but kind of grabbed another guy to pair up, and he actually helped me out with the mental part of the game, not only knowing what pitches to throw and what accounts, but, um, you know, how to handle adversity and, and all that. So that was good, definitely, to, uh, to get him along on the team. And, Help me out on that side. Well, you're going to have a lot of people play a role in your success. Take advantage of all of it. 2 2, and he strikes out Luis Valbuena. Two runs in the inning for Houston. They've tied it up as we go to the bottom of the third. It's 3 3. Mike Boy, I'm so around. happy you're a Yankee fan, now a Rocky fan. Now a Rocky right, fan. Buddy. Good luck hey, to thanks you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Mike, congrats again. Thank you. Good luck to you. Mike Nickerak, who was drafted very high by the Rockies, and he headed to Grand Junction, 3-3 of there.